Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hi, my name is Vano. So today on Did Glam, we're doing something that has been highly requested and I'm sorry it's taking me so long to get to, but 2020 just happened. So I kind of got a little sidetracked, but anyway, we're here. And today on Dude Glam, we're gonna be playing around with the entire collection from KKW Beauty, KKW X Mario, the artist and the muse collection. Side note, to create this look today, I did take some inspiration from two amazing makeup artists, Patrick Starr and Kimora Black. Shout out to both of you because this gave me a lot of life and I just kind of combined both of their looks together and went for it. And I'm so happy with the results. If you have not already, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I love having everyone on here and following the Dude Glam journey. And give this video a big thumbs up and hit the bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you want to play around with a little KKW X Mario with me today, then keep on watching. All right, you guys. Well, I've already gone ahead and done my base off camera just so we can jump right into this collection. And let me just say, I am so excited to play with this. I already love the KKW line. I love the stuff that she puts out. So the fact that she and Mario teamed up to do another collection, I'm just, I'm so excited. I'll also link down below my other review when the first collection came out with KKW and Mario. Don't judge my lighting. There was something going on that day and I just, yeah, it was just <laughs> a lot, but anyway, that is not what we're doing today. We are focusing on, like I said, KKW and Mario, the artist and muse collection, and let's just jump right in. So this collection is amazing. I have the entire collection here and I'm just so excited. First of all, like you guys, the packaging is just epic. Like if you're someone who just dies for packaging like me and you know, you're looking for something just as like a collector or like a keepsake, this stuff is amazing. I've been a fan of Mario's for years and I'm always excited to try out something that he has curated specifically because I mean, if he's doing it, it has to be good, right? Like he's not gonna put his stamp on anything that is bad. So here's what the palette looks like out of the box and here's the box. I mean, it's literally just the same photo. Boom, you open it up and there it is. Ugh, that is just like a gorgeous palette. It does come with the protector. It literally looks exactly like the other palette in terms of just the component and everything and the construction. It's just, I mean, it's beautiful, I love it. I'm kind of almost sad to go ahead and ruin the pans here. They're so beautiful, but whatever. You do what you do in the name of beauty. So the look I have in mind today is a combination between Patrick Starr's makeup look that he did reviewing this palette and Kimora Black. I will link both of their videos down below. Beautiful, beautiful looks, you guys. So go check them out, show them some love. Kimora did this beautiful kind of like wet editorial look and then Patrick recreated one of the photos from the campaign. So I wanna play around and kind of smash both of those looks together and just, have a lot of fun today. So let's go ahead and get started. Now I've already gone ahead and primed my eyes using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion and then set it with a little bit of translucent powder. So let's just jump right in. I'm first gonna go in with this shade right here called Don't Move. It's just like this beautiful kind of cool tone transition brown shade. And let's just go ahead and start to work that into the crease. And with no surprise at all, this is just like epic blendability. Yep, that's beautiful. And I'm gonna take a little bit more of that color and just drag it down to my lower lash line. Just getting a little color going here. How's everyone's 2020 going? I can't believe we've just started a new decade. I don't know where the last decade went. It definitely put a lot of things into perspective for me just in terms of like where I wanna go and where I see myself in the next 10 years and what do I really wanna focus on and put my energy towards. Something that my mom brought up to me, think of 2020 as like the year of clarity, like 2020 vision. And that really stuck with me. I've really been vibing with the idea of what does 2020 clarity mean for me? And for me, I think it's about trusting my gut instinct and really just going with what that feeling is, my first initial reaction, and not straying away from that. I'm now gonna jump into this shade here. I'm inspired and start to deepen up that crease. But yeah, so I think it's just gonna come down to, again, wow, look at that. That is beautiful blendability, you guys. Ooh, that's a beautiful shade. But anyway, like I said, just like trusting my gut instinct and not to say that I didn't do that last decade, but I feel like I could have done more of that. We've all heard this before, but you know, if you trust your gut instinct, you're never really gonna go wrong. Even if there might be a little bit of a shakeup or something it might not go completely the way you wanted it to in the moment, in the long run, you're gonna feel so much better about yourself and so much happier with the fact that you did that because your gut instinct is never wrong. So cheers to 2020, the year of clarity and vision. And for me, trusting my gut, that's my New Year's resolution. Sound off in the comments below. I wanna know what yours is. You guys, these two colors thus far are blending like a dream. I'm now gonna go in the shade Glam King right here. Oop, there's a lot of file out there. Do you see it? And I'm going to lighten up this a little bit and just take that up to my brow bone a little bit more. Just 
to kind of warm it up. There's no fallout. It's just so beautifully blended and I've barely had to work the shadows. All right, now I'm gonna dip in the shade Mario's Muse and this is just a beautiful coppery, cherry, love, copper goodness. And let's just throw that on the lid. I'm gonna go back in with that same color and I am gonna apply a little bit of setting spray just to see if I can bring it alive. I know Patrick did that as well too and it really just started to show off a lot more of the metallic so let's see if I can get the same. Ooh, yeah. Look at that, you see that you guys? That just brought it right to life. Oh, that is a beautiful color. Oh my God. I'm gonna go back in now with Glam King and start to deepen up my lower lash line a little bit. Now with this black liner from Morphe, I'm gonna go ahead and line my waterline. And then we're going to jump over to Kimora's look and I'm gonna take that other dark color, the Artist, and blend out the liner. All right, now on a flat angled brush, I'm gonna dip into this beautiful foiled blue metallic glittery life color called the Artist and let's smoke out that lower lash line. I kinda wanna see now how this would work if I did like a really bold wing liner and then smudged it out with this blue color because this blue color really is making my eye pop. Did everyone have a nice holiday? I got to go back to the East Coast, see my family and just kind of reset. I always think about going back to the East Coast and kind of like resetting my mind and getting out of the concrete maze that's what I call Los Angeles. Like New York may be the concrete jungle, but LA is definitely the concrete maze because it just never ends. For anyone out there who has flown into LA and you get a window seat and you just look as you're landing, it's just like endless, right? Tell me I'm wrong. This is the concrete maze. Now I'm gonna go back in with that same brush that I have a little bit of Glam King on and I'm going to blend the artist and Glam King together just so I can diffuse the line a little bit more. So in Kimora's video, she actually used a beauty campaign which kind of looks like this champagne-y metallic shimmer and she used it as her highlight. So you know what, I'm actually gonna use that to highlight my eyes. I'm not mad at it. And then I'll also take that right at the brow bone. Ooh, what do you think so far? All right, I'm gonna go off camera, I'm gonna do my lashes, liner, and then I'll be back so we can continue on with this look. All right, you guys, well, lashes, liner, and mascara are done, and I use one of Mario's favorites. This is a mascara that he swears by. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara in Carbon Black. You can pick this up at Ulta, the drugstore, but he's talked about this for years, so I felt, obviously, today, like, we had to do this to pay homage to him, and, um, yeah, this mascara has not steered me wrong. So again, thank you, Mario, for this little tip. Let's move on and try out this blush. This is the blush in Very Graceful. I have seen some people say that this is a very kind of subtle blush. It's beautiful. It's like this wonderful, ooh, that's, that's in there. Well, you at least know that this is gonna be safe. I mean, it's definitely picking up on the brush. It's cute, right? It kind of adds this beautiful, nice, natural flush to the cheek. But if you're doing like a full beat, you really have to build it up to make sure that you are getting that kind of desired intensity. Let's just go ahead and add a little bit more here. We'll do that kind of e-girl vibe a little bit as well too. It's not a bad color, it's just really, really subtle. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can tell right now on camera just how subtle this blush is. But hey, if you're someone who likes a subtle blush, then this is gonna be great for you. All right, let's move on to lips. Here is a lip liner and this is a beauty icon. Ooh, let's hope it's just as good as I think it is. Here is the lipstick and this is in He's a Mixer. And this is supposed to be a specially curated lipstick that Mario said he's always mixing different shades to create like the perfect brownie nude. And this is apparently what it is. And here is the lip gloss and this is Proud of You. So let's go ahead and start to line these lips and here's hoping that it's just as good as I think it's gonna be. The formula feels the same as all of her other lip liners, and if you haven't tried a KKW lip liner, you're sleeping on it. Her lip products are epic, you guys. Wow, that exceeded my expectations. All right, now let's go in with the lipstick in He's a Mixer, and here we go. So this is a matte. It's the first time I've actually tried one of her matte formulas. It feels still kind of creamy and nice. It doesn't feel like my lips are gonna dry out. I'm, I'm not really a big fan of matte lipsticks or liquid lips because it really cracks my lips and I just don't feel good in them. And I always feel like I have to apply a gloss on top of it and it just becomes a whole ordeal. But I really like the formula with this because it does feel matte on my lips but it also feels really hydrating. So this is the gloss in Proud of You. 
Ooh, she's fresh too. I think out of the entire collection, if there's something that you wanna get, get the lip bundle. This is a beautiful, beautiful color. It's, it's stunning. I'm gonna go in with a beauty campaign and I'm gonna do a little bit more of a highlight here. Oh, look at that. So Kimura took this gloss from Morphe and this is from the Jeffree Star collection that he did. This is in First Impressions and it's just a clear gloss. And what she did was just paint it on the lids and gave it this beautiful glossy editorial look. So she literally just took the doe foot applicator and just started to paint it on the lids. And she said she did not put it on top of the liner just because obviously we don't want that to rub off. Wow. That is gorgeous. And the colors are staying put, you guys. They're not moving. There's obviously a little bit of transfer on the doe foot applicator, but overall on my lid, they're staying put. And to top it all off, what would this be without a little crystal gardenia ooze? We'll just give ourselves a nice little Armenian bath. Well, that's it for today's video, you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And thank you both to Patrick and Kamara for giving me this inspiration. If you have not already, and you're just looking to either add something really cool to your makeup collection or you're a KKW or a Mario fan, pick this up, don't sleep on it. I spent my own money on this. I'm not sponsored in any way. And I have to say, this is just beautiful. As always, you guys, thank you for watching today's video. I really appreciate everyone who comes on here and takes the time to watch these videos and experiences this journey with me through music, art, and fashion. Let's make 2020 the most amazing year and kick off to a decade that we've ever done. I can't wait for all the new launches and all the amazing creative things that people are gonna put out. And I'm just so excited to try it here with you guys here on Do Glam. If there's there's anything coming up that you know of and you want me to review or if there's something that I have not reviewed yet that you want me to leave it down in the comments I love hearing all of your thoughts and opinions let's just make 2020 the best year yet and on that note you guys I will see you in my next video all right bye